I just heard somebody say, This was the limit, you know. We're out of here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Elise. I come from Norway. I moved to Germany in 2021. And yes, I'm going to tell this story of me and my husband's first experience renting an apartment in Germany. It's going to be a little bit all over the place. Grab your snacks, whatever. Get yourself comfortable. Around the time it was not a nice experience, of course, but now I can kind of laugh about it a little bit and, you know, I mean, at least we have a story, you know, to tell. <laughs> but uh, no hate or shame or anything to the people involved. No hard feelings. It all ended on a good note. So to give you guys a better picture of the situation before I tell the story. So me and my husband rented this apartment. He moved in a few months before we got married. And then after we got married, I moved in. And yes, we in total lived in this apartment for four months. We definitely expected to live there longer, but <laughs> considering the circumstance, uh, that was not really possible. There was just too much problems, okay? So, so this was also our first experience doing that. And we, of course, did a few mistakes and we are aware of that. And we were not perfect either, so I will just say that it becomes worse and worse throughout the story. <laughs> okay, so we lived in the top apartment. And they lived in the down apartment. We did not expect that this house was so, so, so old and it was so... Um, you could he hear everything so clear. And, you know, the stairs up to our apartment was the, probably the oldest chairs ever because chairs stairs because every step you took it was like <laughs> like it was very loud you know okay so if you are not familiar with germany or <laughs> germans i don't know i'm not putting everybody under this category but i've heard that older germans tend to be more sparesome with energy and water and stuff like that and it's almost like that's the entire focus in their head every day that spare as much as you can if that makes sense i am not used to the second you go out from a room to turn off the light for example i was just minding my own business in the kitchen cooking lunch or something like that i think it was the same day later in the day or something or the day after the neighbor talked to my husband and was like elisa was in the kitchen and it was 11 o'clock or something and she had the light on and you know it's daylight outside so she doesn't need to have the light on you know when i heard that i was like you know when i'm cooking especially i would like to see what i'm doing you know and second of all that means that they've been outside looking in my window and like watching like who and <laughs> also a very funny thing was that the wife of the neighbor she also asked my husband like she said like oh i think you, your wife needs to check her eyes because uh, she should be able to see you know i was like, kind of shocked when i heard that so that was not really the nicest thing for me to hear and you have to also keep in mind that we paid a certain price for the month and it was included electricity and water so but anyways like stuff like that i felt like you know I couldn't even mind my own business and I really felt watched from the window so very often after we had had complaint, complaints and stuff I tended to roll down the windows so they couldn't see what I was doing you know and then there was this situation when we went away for a night and slept somewhere else we had forgotten to turn off one little light bulb I think it was the next day we saw or we heard that our neighbor had gotten into our apartment without even letting, letting us know or even calling or anything because he had seen the light on. So he was like, okay, I go in, you know, and I turn it off. So he did that, which I think if you do that in Norway, that you can call the police. Like that's not uh, allowed to just go into somebody's apartment, you know, without even telling them. Of course, he told us later, so I really don't think he meant to be crossing over a line or something, but that is not so nice during this time when we lived there i was so paranoid the, almost the whole time because very often there was problems where the light or 
I don't know if that we were loud or something. Something I forgot mentioning was that I was so sure either they're coming in all the time in our apartment because I don't know they did that before without asking or they have like some kind of hidden cameras or something somewhere. I actually check it like in places like what can you call it? I also checked in light bulbs and like everywhere in the apartment. I was like looking and like checking if there was some <laughs> hidden cameras. One time I actually left my phone somewhere I hide it and I was filming and then when I left the house the house was you know empty just to see if somebody came in the apartment because I, I just had the feeling of that something was like up oh, somebody had been there you know I think I kind of went a little bit crazy at some point you know you never know people they can be like murderers or like there was actually one evening it was nine o'clock I vacuumed just two seconds because it was like dirt on the floor I just a little bit wanted to you know vacuum that up and apparently that was not something I should have done. Ooh, and one other thing was that one evening we were just tidying up a little bit the house, just, you know, as you do sometimes after the day, you know. We walked around a little bit and then I think we got cold or something that we are making so, so much noise that what are we doing upstairs, you know? It's very loud. And I was thinking, what on earth? Because for us, it doesn't sound loud, you know, when we walk on the floor normal. But uh, apparently we noticed that, okay, we don't have socks on, so we will put on socks. And like, we had to like, literally like, every day after a certain point, we really went. We had to walk very soft on the floors. And we whispered, even when in our own bedroom or in general, in our house, after a certain time, we had to whisper to each other. We couldn't even talk normal because <laughs> from previous experiences, Apparently we talk too loud when we talk normal, which also was so annoying that every time you're like We had to like whisper, we had to like go on our tiptoes and Quiet please No need to shout, no need to yell, no need to have a riot, shut your eyes, take a deep breath Oh, it was just so many things after each other and I felt like we couldn't even be ourselves in our own place, you know? And a very funny thing was that when we had visitors one time, um, it was pretty much normal. It was like a normal day, you know? And we had visitors and they went inside and stuff and then we thought, oh, let's go for a little walk, you know? We all just went downstairs and uh, went out the door. As soon as we did that, we walked down the stairs, the neighbor came hysterically out and was like, ah, we're like, what is happening, you know? And we all was like, uh, we're just going out for a walk. She's like, ah, oh, it's so loud. And that was also very embarrassing for me and us, you know, because, you know, we have guests, you know, and we just normally, we didn't trample down, you know, we just normally walk down the stairs. And that also happened when one time I was making smoothie, you know? In the kitchen, I was just making smoothie, you know? And the neighbor was like, ah, oh, like, uh, what, what, what is that sound, you know? So re I really felt like I couldn't do anything at any point of the day that made a little bit extra sound. Because then I was scared, okay, then they're gonna complain and say that what is going on and stuff like that. It really didn't feel like I could relax in our house or in our apartment. Our water was uh, probably programmed to the smallest setting or something because we barely had any hot water it wasn't really hot at all it was only lukewarm so and it got cold very quickly and stuff so we asked like hey can you please turn a little bit up the heat because it's it's really not warm you know after he did that it was like half a degree warmer and it didn't even it didn't even make any difference so but we were like okay whatever you know we can survive <laughs> that was very unusual for us because you know once in a while, you know, cold winter day, like I would like to take a hot shower, you know, I don't think that's such a big deal and I think, I think everybody should be able to do that. At this point in the story comes the craziest thing and I'm just warning you right now. Yes, I am laughing about it now, but it was traumatizing for me, very traumatizing. So what happened was, Zoe was there so she can be here for this part of the video. I was out with Zoe or something and then the neighbor was outside and he was like, okay, um, later uh, I will come upstairs or I will uh, like knock. And he told me like, later I need to go into your apartment, but I will like knock or something. Like you have to keep in mind also that my German was like 0%, almost 0.1% because this was literally just after I moved to Germany. 
So, and he only talked German, so this was kind of difficult. But I understood that he needed to go in the apartment later, but of course I was like, yeah, sure, you know. Yeah, I just mind my own business, you know. I'm thinking, okay, he comes later. I have no idea when, so I'll just do my thing, you know. And then I was going to the bathroom, turn the shower on. I didn't think, you know, too crazy much. Suddenly, I hear very, very close to where I was. The shower was on, you know, so it was kind of loud. It was, I just heard somebody say, Anita, bist du duschen? <laughs> I was in the shower. Yeah, I'm telling you, luckily, I wasn't showering. I was giving Zoe a bath. But this was traumatizing because the bathroom door was open. We have a mirror in the bathroom, literally, so you can see in the shower. And the man, he was standing in our bedroom, which was right outside the bathroom. So. <sighs> I'm just very happy that I didn't take a shower because I felt like then I would be exposed, you know? That's really not okay. My heart was pounding, you know? And I was like, of course, I said like, no, no, I'm not, you know, douching. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. And, and then he proceeded to tell me like that he was knocking, you know, at the door, but I couldn't hear that, you know? I was in the shower, so I couldn't hear that he was knocking, but that doesn't make it right that he just uh, opens the door and goes in. I if this happened in Norway, you could right away like contact the police or something because this is actually, this is uh, illegal to do that. And I think in Germany too, it's illegal or something, like you cannot do that. I, in my head, like I'm not thinking like, oh, I need to report to the police, you know, but if I had some like more life experience, I think that I would do that maybe, I don't know. We had a good, somewhat good relationship with our neighbors, but they were very kind to us at times and it wasn't all just terrible, but it was just so, so many instances where it was always complaining about us and our everyday life. I don't know, that's not how it should be, you know? And I think that the house was way, way too old and in such a bad, like, isolation or something that it shouldn't be, you, sh you, you shouldn't have rented it out, you know? But that's how it went. But what actually brought us over the edge was not that situation. I don't know, we were really thinking to quit our contract or something, but we, you know, we let it go a little bit more time. The moment where we realized, no, this, is you now going too far. One day, as always, minding our own business and we hadn't taken Zoe out for her morning like walk yet. And you know, it was been, it had been like, quite a few hours, but she's a very good dog and she always lets us know if she needs to go out and she can stay inside very, very many hours, you know, without needing to go. And she never, never makes an accident inside, but we know our dog, you know, so my husband went out with Zoe at one point and when he came back, oh my goodness, me and my mother-in-law was upstairs in our apartment. Suddenly, we hear <laughs> somebody screaming at my husband. I, of course, couldn't understand everything, but of course, my mother-in-law, she understood. And it's been so and so many hours and you haven't taken your dog out. And he was very, you know, scared that she was gonna pee and stuff like inside the apartment. But of course, she's such a good dog. Zoe, you did not do anything wrong. You're not stupid. And honestly, he was screaming and he also said something about, oh, if contacting your mother or I don't know what, you know, and there I was upstairs with her and she was like, we were so shocked, you know, that it's... Oh my goodness. Then when he came upstairs, we, were, we looked at each other and we we're like, no, it's enough. Like now we just write a letter and we'll be like, okay, now we want to end the contract and stuff like that. This was the limit, you know. It all ended on good terms. I think they had the conversation after that and like everything was all good in the end. But we were like, you know what? This is the cherry on top. We cannot do this anymore. We only was there for three months at that point. We're out of here. So that was the traumatizing story of our experience in our first apartment. Um, I'm sure it was very, very particular and it's not common probably to experience something like that, but I guess we were just a little bit unfortunate. No hard feelings to the, those people. I always, I just wish them good in their lives. Let me know if you have ever experienced something like this or something similar. Maybe we can relate <laughs> on some things. I hope you have a very good day today and I will see you guys very soon again. Bye.